5, 11 a.m. Triana is having contractions right now. Hopefully it's real labor and not false labor. Fingers crossed. As y'all can see, we made it to the hospital room. This is for the white baby. Yeah, nice sink right here. Some computer stuff, hospital stuff. And got my own little chair. Right now we're just waiting on the doctor to come check us out. And yeah. I'm excited. How you feeling, baby? Alright. I feel like I need to stand up, move around. Show the bathroom, that's it's nice. Right now, Triana is dilated at about three centimeters. And we're just waiting on the doctors to give us the okay to be admitted. All right, guys, we're still here at the hospital. It is almost 9.30. Triana, she's resting right now, trying to ignore the pain. And the doctor said she'll be back around lunchtime, so probably 12 or 11. And we're just waiting, we're hoping he comes soon. Don't want to stay in the hospital for too long. Tell the people how you feeling. Good. It's cold in here. Mm -hmm. I feel great. <laughs> You're beautiful, baby. Mm. What are the contractions like? Well, I'm taking it as a chance. Oh, you are. So, like, as you guys can see here, this monitors her contraction, and this up here, the blue line, monitors the baby's heartbeat. They have her hooked up on IV right now. Drew some blood. She finished drinking her strawberry smoothie. And now she's on the liquid diet. <sighs> I'm nervous, but excited, anxious. I don't know, I feel like I was, I gotta do something. Like my feet's just always moving and jittery. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to go now. Mm -hmm. Text me if you want to 
Yeah, I'll call. I'll call you now. Currently, it is eleven o'clock, and we're still in pre-labor. We have a couple more centimeters to go until she's active labor. She's pretty tired right now. Yeah, we're waiting. You got any advice, baby? For our viewers? Hey y'all, it is 12.45. Still contractions. Mm. How you feeling, baby? Feeling all right. Rocking back and forth? Yep. Yeah, we're tired. <sighs> Triana's more tired. Well, I'm not really tired, just in pain. Yeah. I was on the yoga ball. It helped a little bit, but I find the best way to minimize the pain is to kind of sit crisscross applesauce and just rock back and forth. Uh do you think you're able to describe the pain that you're feeling? Uh, period cramps on 10. Damn. Yep. Any advice? Nope. No advice. Just do uh, what helps you. That's it. That's all I can say. Well, I'll, say one, I'll say one advice is to invest in a Foilable fan slash heater. Oh, it's cold in this hospital. The hospital room was really cold. It was like 60 degrees. So that really helped. Uh, and I was like, we spent all that time prepping the baby bag. You didn't even think about me. What do you mean? No, we didn't think about me. We didn't think about, oh, you might be cold or maybe an extra pillow or oh yeah yeah we didn't think about me we thought about the baby yeah so yeah. i would say good advice is also prepare yourself too for blankets i say one blanket is enough mm -hmm. an extra pillow yeah i needed blankets too yeah but it's only gonna last for about a couple minutes oh, i hate blankets yeah. Nice pillow for your neck. Oh. Uh, her contractions in a shorter period. Try and have her dilate a little bit more. Faster. Yeah, faster. I see her hair, see how good that looks. Even one in the way that she's a 10. All right, y'all, right now it is 3.47 and we're prepping for the delivery. And we're excited, Triana, she just wants to get this over with. Right now they're prepping the delivery table. Stay tuned. see the delivery but we'll show you guys the aftermath can you say a prayer for me baby dear lord i hope your day's been good but as you continue to watch over us i hope that you continue to bless our son through his life and also give triana 
the health, nerves, and strength that she pushed out her son. Give her the strength to all the pregnancy and all the pains that she has to go through. Also give us the strength to give our son what he needs throughout his life. Amen. Grabbing your thighs, both sides, and pulling them towards you. I'm going to lay your head down a little bit more, and you're going to kind of pull yourself up, crunch up when you push, okay? Um, you'll hold your push for 10 seconds while I count, mm -hmm. and then you'll take a deep breath. I'll tell you when, and then go right back into it. I'll do it three times. If I tell you to stop, stop. That means time to go get the doctor. <laughs> Lots of bright lights. <laughs> So today is day two with baby. Uh, right now baby is sleeping. So while the baby is sleeping, I'm learning it's great. It's a great time to eat and also a great time to sleep as well. You wanna sleep when the baby sleeps. It's new, new process for me and Kenny. Kind of just learning along the way. And we're just kind of trying to show you guys, I guess, our first week as parents um so we'll get on here a lot so this is the second day in the hospital most likely will be released uh tomorrow um we were told that vaginal deliveries it's a two days stay but for the most part i am feeling good and you guys stay tuned um to um see the big baby reveal um and also baby's name uh, we'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.